We got five minutes on the clock. What is your name in the name of your podcast show? Uh, it's simple. Nico Lagan, the Nico Lagan show. Nice. All right. What are we <laughs> going to talk today? What do podcasters need to know about podcasting, starting, growing, monetizing? Long form content is dying, if not dead. If I record a podcast now, I don't even record it as a full interview. I really see it as a bunch of reels put together. Really? This is, oh yeah. Like I've been creating content for about four years, give or take. I probably recorded 300 podcasts of my own. And I've been a guest on probably, I would say 70 over the past 10 weeks, give or take. And I went from a year ago, I probably had 10,000 views a month on all social media combined. Right now, I average between five to 10 million a month. I post probably just today. I think I've posted three, four, probably four reels since this morning. I'll post another one as soon as we're done here. And I'll post another one before I go to bed. And this is all original content. Like it's all stuff I, I make. And yeah, when I do podcasts now, like I, I did a podcast with a, a priest not too long ago with a pastor and I asked him 27 questions. I sat down, we sat down for an hour and a half. All I did is here's a question, recorded it as an interview, and I'm turning into every single one into reels. So, and this is how I see content nowadays, because if you consider that the average human being has an attention span of about 8.25 seconds. So, <laughs> sure. and it has dropped over the past 20 years, it has dropped by 30%. Like it used to be 12, now it's like 25. So we're really in a world where reels is king. If you look everywhere on social media, every single algorithm out there, uh, for the exception of Facebook and LinkedIn, LinkedIn promotes long form content, like written content. Mm -hmm. Facebook promotes everything from picture long videos, reels, like it likes written content. It likes everything. But if you look at Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, they mostly promote reels or short form content. YouTube has a bit of a difference because it's an education site, right? That's how they make the most of their views is with longer form content. But if you consider the attention span, the attention span, sorry, most people will not discover your podcast and listen to the whole hour, 30 minutes right off the bat. You know, it's like in marketing, they tell you that it takes seven points of contact before somebody buys your product. If you're a podcaster, your product is your podcast. Yeah. You're the product. Your podcast is your product. So in order for somebody to listen to an hour of your content, chances are they'll have to interact with seven pieces of your content. Can you imagine that they have to listen to a minute of every single of seven different podcasts when you can simply start looking at your podcast as in, I will run for an hour. I will expect 10. I will wrap my podcast in a way where I know I can ask 10 questions that will produce 10 answers that I can either turn into one or two reels per question or even one three to five minute video per question so you can literally i see i see podcasts as a real machine this is how i see it now wow so what what was the day that that like clicked in your head because you went from a, a certain point in social media to blowing it out of the water into mm -hmm. the millions of views like what was that like oh my god we should be doing this what was that it's point? Just, it's just the amount of views. So a lot of the things that I speak about is not liked by algorithm. So if you look at YouTube, YouTube absolutely hates me. I can barely do between 100 to 200,000 views a month, and this is the maximum I'll ever make. They hate my long-form content. And I've noticed I can, I can make reels, super easy reels. I'll get four, five, six, ten thousand 10,000 views on it. I'll launch a podcast that that's an hour long that took my guys four to eight, 10 hours to produce outside of me having to go face to face, recorded, find guests and all that stuff. I'll get a few thousand views on it. I have a, I have a video I made on, uh, off my phone. Literally I started recording blah, 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 blah. I changed the angles because I'm so used to it. So it makes it very dynamic when I'm speaking. Yeah. I think I I'm crossing 120,000 views in the past two days. And I, have about 10,000 likes, probably 2,000 comments. It literally took me 30 minutes because there's animations that I've put in off my right. phone, but I literally did everything off of my phone. You got 10 seconds left. Where can people go to listen into your podcast show? At Real Nico Lagan everywhere. Absolutely. Every, I, I post on about eight different platforms every day. So. 
Cool. And we did this all in under five minutes, guys. I hope you're enjoying this podcast show. It's for you, for podcasters out there looking to grow, monetize your show. See you.